So in this video, I am going to program the second column from Fred Welsh's Synthesizer Cookbook cello patch recipe into analog. Here I have it specified that I should have an LFO, low frequency oscillator, in the shape of a sine wave, modulating amplitude of our oscillator, that's the routing, it's going to modulate amplitude at a frequency of 7.5 hertz or a moderate speed and it's going to do this with a 5% depth. So this is how I'm going to program this into analog. Come over here, I'll click on the LFO tab, I will enable LFO1, it's going to be having its speed set in hertz, which is designated right here. I could also use a note value relative to the BPM in my sequencer, a quarter note of 120 BPM, but we're gonna keep it in hertz. And come over here and I'm going to drag this knob to 7.5 hertz, just like the recipe wants us to have. And you see I'm having trouble getting to 7.5 hertz. I got 7.7, 7.3. What I'm going to do is press Command on my Mac and drag this and it'll give me finer increments on my knob. There is a analogous key to do that on a PC. I don't know what that is. Sorry, you're going to have to look that up. But now I have an LFO that's at 7.5 hertz, and that's working. And now I need to route it to modulate my amplitude on my oscillator. So I will come over here to the Amplitude tab. I will click it. You can see the information changing in the center of the screen. I know I'm in my Amplitude tab, and I want level modulation, this section here. I want that LFO1 to modulate the level of my oscillator by 5% and I can do that by grabbing and dragging again to 5%, or I can click it and type it in. This parameter goes all the way up to 100% or negative 100%, but I want it at 5%. So there we go. Now I have an LFO at 7.5 hertz modulating the amplitude of oscillator one at 5%. The sad thing about this is that I can't modulate oscillator two by LFO one. That's just the way analog works. I have to go over here, set up another LFO, just like I did with LFO 1. I have to enable LFO 2. I have to come and change the rate to 7.5. There we go. Then I have to come back over to Amplitude tab, to the Amplitude tab, just like I did with Oscillator 1. Same thing. And then I come over here and have LFO 2 modulate my amplitude by 5%. And there we go. Now that portion of the patch has been completed, has been programmed. Now onto this next box, which isn't really about LFO. This has to do with a few other parameters. Glide and time, these go together. This patch says that we shouldn't have any glide between notes. And because there is no glide, there is no time parameter between that. If I had glide specified, in this patch, I would come over here to this column of analog, and I can enable glide by clicking on this button, GLI. That is our glide parameter. And here I can control the time according to a percentage. But there is no glide, so I'm going to turn that off for now and say that this portion of the cookbook recipe has been programmed. And then the next two parameters are unison and voices. There are no unison oscillators, and this is a multi-voice patch. And the way I'm going to make sure that's an analog is to go back over here, clicking on this same tab. Here is my parameter to control the number of voices that are played. This is a polyphonic patch, and I can control it and make it a monophonic patch if I want, or have it have two, uh, two possible voices, four, eight, 12, etc. I can play up to 32 notes at one time if I want. I'm just gonna leave it at eight for now. That's a decent sized chord. However, our voices section, you can see that here, I can't highlight that, I, it's still grayed out. If I wanted to make this a unison voice patch, I could come over here and click uni over in this column, and now this opens up. It's now yellow instead of gray, and I can specify that I want 
several other oscillators playing when I play this patch, like four oscillators, and I can detune them according to this amount here, or use a delay. However, I don't want unison because the patch doesn't call for unison, so I'll turn that off. And now we have programmed this column into analog. In my next video, I am going to program this column into analog, and then we will have a playable patch.